First there was PlayStation, aka PS1. Then there's PS2, PS3, and now PS4. And that makes sense. You'd think after Xbox, there'd be Xbox 2. But no. Next came Xbox 360. Hmm? And now, after 360, comes Xbox One. Why one? Maybe that's how many seconds of thought they put into naming it. Can you get the butter, please? Yeah. However, with the Xbox One, I can control my entire entertainment system using voice commands. Up until now, I've had to use Leonard. Then get the other one. Pass the butter. Get, hang on. I don't feel like you're taking this dilemma seriously. Fine, Sheldon. You have my undivided attention. Okay, now, the PS4 is more angular and sleek looking. No way! You, it's true. But the larger size of the Xbox One may keep it from overheating. Well, you wouldn't want your gaming system to overheat. No, see, well, you absolutely would not. And furthermore, the Xbox One now comes with a Kinect included. Included? Yes. <laughs> Not sold separately. You, although, the PS4 uses cool new GDDR5 RAM, while the Xbox One is still using the conventional DDR3 memory. Why would they still be using DDR3? Are they nuts? You, <laughs> see, that's what I thought. But then, they go and throw in an ES RAM buffer. Oh, wait, wait, wait a second. Who's they? The Xbox. You're kidding! No, I am not. And this ES RAM buffer should totally bridge the 100 gigabit per second bandwidth gap between the two RAM types. This is a nightmare. How will you ever make a decision? See, I don't know. What should I do? Please pass the butter! <laughs> Thank you again for dinner. You're welcome. Good night. Uh, it's date night. Aren't you, uh, forgetting something? Oh, of course. <laughs> Did I mention the PS4 controllers light up? No. Well, they do. <laughs> PS4 or Xbox One? Raj? Uh, Xbox One. Penny? Huh? <laughs> Leonard? PS4. Wallowitz? Both great. Bernadette? I like the Wii. <laughs> Thanks, Grandma. I'm proud of you, Sheldon. You know, I'm proud of me, too. I've done all my research, I conducted an informal poll, and I've arrived at the rock-solid certainty I've made the right choice. Well, that's got to be a good feeling. Oh, it is. Although... Oh, crap. <laughs> now, I had the same feeling when I made my dad buy a Betamax instead of a VHS. You were just a little kid. Yeah, a little kid who picked the wrong format to record the McNeil Lehrer report. <laughs> So was certain that HD DVD would win out over Blu-ray. How old were you then? Old enough to know better. <laughs> you know, and now that I think about it, I stood in front of a case of iPods and I bought a Zune. What's a Zune? Yep, yeah, exactly. It's an MP3 player brought to us by the makers of Xbox. <laughs> No, what are you doing? No, or pick that back up. You know it's good. You did the research. But what if I'm wrong? You know what? How about I buy it for you? How about I buy you both? You know I only have one slot available on my entertainment center. Then I'll buy you a new entertainment center. Yeah, okay, sure. But which one? How about this? I've heard that if you flip a coin, it will tell you how you actually feel, because you'll either be disappointed or excited by the outcome. Interesting. So, heads, it's PS4, tails, it's Xbox One. All right, I'll try. What is it? A quarter. <laughs> Could have given it back to me. That was a choice. <laughs> On the one hand, the Xbox One has a better camera, but the PS4 has a removable hard drive. Thoughts? I can't feel my legs. 
Oh, I'm sorry, guys, but the store closed five minutes ago. But I haven't decided yet. You have to come back tomorrow. The registers are closed. <laughs> Let's get you some food. You you'll feel better after you eat. Okay. <laughs> what, what do you want? Like Thai food? Uh, a burger? I don't know. <laughs>